bit here on the show, but first, The Grunch. It's a new children's musical about a grumpy sixth grader. I'm sure we can all relate at that age. And his last name is Grunch. It's two members of the cast that recently stopped by CT Style to talk a little bit about the performance. Take a look. Welcome Billy DeCrossa along with Andrew Tebow and Tyler Manamite here today from the New Haven Academy of Performing Arts. Fellas, all of you welcome here to CT Thank Style. Thank you so much for having us. Handshakes all around. High fives, high fives to you <laughs> there. Now, uh, you guys, uh, brand new uh, spot you guys have, so congratulations. Yeah. Thank and you also, very much. brand new show. It is called The Grunch. Is there going to be a little green man running around? No or? little green man, but it okay. does kind of have a spin off of The Grinch, which, uh -huh. is your th which is what you're thinking of. So, Tyler is playing The Grunch in our musical oh. and basically he's a little boy who hates musical theater and so he has an aunt who is a New York Times critic and okay. he has her come to the show but before the show happens he steals everything from the show to make it a disaster. What? Yeah, it's now, really cool. Now you wouldn't do this in real life of course, right? No, no he loves no. it. No. Of course not. And, and then how about you? What's, what's your role in the show? I'm his younger cousin who follows him around all the time. Okay. The shadow. And, and again, in, in real life, you don't do that either, right? Oh, he kind of does follow Andrew around a lot. Once they're, in a while? Buddies, yeah. Well, they're both very talented in their own right. Uh, Billy, you as well. So, so we're going to get a little preview of the show right here live Absolutely. on CT Style today. Yeah. So I, I can't wait to check it out. It is The Grunch. Where, where can people uh, learn a little bit more information Sure, they can uh, log online to www.nhaopa.com. And our shows are uh, going to air on March 25th and 26th at 7 p.m. at New Haven Academy of Performing Arts in East Haven. Very good. Billy, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you Fellas, for having me. We're going to let you take, take the away. performance away. Come on. At last, we're away from that nonsense. All those theater wannabes singing and dancing are missing the entire point of what it means to be alive. Life is painful. It's ugly. It's disappointing. The exact opposite of a musical. They do have beautiful costumes over here. Oh, sure. Beautiful costumes and incredible sets and sparkly lights. Why don't people appreciate true talent? Like the fact that I won the Hoover Regional Chess Tournament last year. Did I get a write-up in the paper? Did I get flowers and balloons? Did I get hundreds of people coming to my match and a standing ovation? No! I was there. Of course you were. You're my little cousin. Aunt Kathy says you have to stick with me. I just don't get what bothers you so much about school musicals. Where do I start? The auditions, the fundraising, the endless morning announcements. Oh, Mills, I can already see it. Rushing up to find out who's been cast as if nothing else matters at all. Then a gasp and a shriek as they find out at last they got in and they faint in the hall. Oh, I dreamt about this the whole summer, and at last I am finally a star. I'm so glad I got cast, oh, I'm having a blast. Don't you find their exurbance bizarre? They take over the gym and the halls and the yard as if nobody else needs the space. They think everyone's glad, but their logic is marred, even if it's just me they displace. Oh, I love my whole cast and director. Yes, I feel like we're really a team. Every day we rehearse, memorizing each verse. It's enough to make me want to scream. Ah. Hey, you have a great singing voice. You should join the school musical. Out! I still don't understand why you're so angry. Isn't your aunt a theater critic in New York? That's the other side of the family. Wait a second. Mills, you're brilliant. I can use her to ruin the musical forever. What? Yes, I'll get her to come see the musical, and somehow, someway, I'll make sure they get the worst review ever. I've got it. First, I'll enter their club while I hide my regrets, and I'll act like I do like their play. Then on opening night, I'll have hidden their sets and have taken their costumes away. And my auntie will hate their performance, yet she'll crush the whole group with her ink. I'll have done the school right, yes, I'll show them the light, yes, I'll show them that musicals stink. I'll have one, they'll go home and stop dreaming, and then next year will be so serene. No more play, no more song, no more club to belong, the whole school will be much 
much more like me. The whole school will be much more.